In this video, I'll show you how UI Replicator works. So I'm working on a project and I am looking for some UIs that would fit my project, but I have a problem. I don't want to spend time cloning UIs and I really like what Peter Levels did here. So Photo AI looks amazing. The landing page is gorgeous. And I want to build something similar, but I don't want to spend the time to clone it myself. So the solution is UI Replicator. I just go on this website and I'll hit the extension and it will start downloading. And as you can see, it is already done. It is that fast. So I'll save this and I'll show you in a second how it looks like. I, I don't know if you saw the pop-up, but it was a pop-up. Here you can see the page. So it cloned the website. First, I'm going to show you the original and this is the original. So here's how it looks like. I'll just scroll a bit through it so you can see more of it, more of the page. All right, and now I'm going to show you the clone. This is the clone, the replicated version that UI Replicator made. I can't even notice a difference. Now, you have some elements like this hero section where maybe he has a video i don't know what it is behind that hero section maybe it is a video and sometimes when you have videos like this with cdns so let's say that he has a cloudflare cdn and that cdn allows the video to be shown only on this website maybe that's why it is not shown here but even if it was a problem with the css it is almost instantly fixable because you'll just have to press some enters because sometimes when you have php websites like this and i'll show you in a second sometimes i don't know if it's a php thing or what this is but you have styles inside the html which is weird to me because i'm used to put all the styles in the header but sometimes you have styles inside of the html and sometimes i don't know if i can find it maybe here you have this thing. So you have this element and you have styles inside of this element. Anyway, the point is sometimes you have styles inside of elements when the website is built with PHP and you just have to separate them somehow. And that's just a matter of copy and paste. And to show you that it is responsive, I'll also go into the mobile preview. So let's go here and preview iPhone. So this is how the website looks on iPhone 14 Pro Max. This is the original, by the way, so Peter needs to work on this, but this is how it looks like. And the clone is also responsive and it works exactly as the original. All right, this is not the most responsive website, but as you can see, it works in the same way the original behaves.